Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines for Living. When the disciples came to Jesus and asked him to teach them to pray, he said simply, This is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven. Stop. But where is heaven? Literally, the words were, in the heavens. The space that surrounds planet Earth is really very vast, right? So, is this what he was talking about? Yet, if you are in China and look overhead, you are looking the opposite direction that our friends in Quito, Ecuador would look, the same ones who are listening to this commentary. So, just where is the dwelling place of the Father? For a few moments, think with me about how vast the heavens really are. In 1977, scientists launched a rocket filled with sophisticated space components. It was called Voyager 2. For 12 long years, it winged its way through space. Then, 12 years later, it began to enter the gravitational pull of the planet Neptune. On the morning of August 25, 1989, cameras began snapping pictures of Neptune and its moon Triton, some 2.79 billion miles in space, showing scenes no mortal had ever viewed before. It took four hours and six minutes for pictures to reach Earth from Neptune, compared with one and a half seconds for light to reach us from the moon. Now, if, however, you stood on the front porch of Neptune, from there could you see heaven? A vandal once took a can of spray paint and wrote, God is nowhere. A little girl, about seven, came along and read the message, God is now here. Well, of one thing we are sure. Heaven is a real place, the throne room of the Almighty, and from there God rules in the affairs of men. Jesus told the disciples, I am going there to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you may also be where I am. The word Jesus used, which we translate place, is the same word which gives us the English word topographical. It was always used of a real place, never a figurative, make-believe place. Some folks have trouble with the question of where heaven is because they're looking in the wrong place. They tend to look for God like a thief looks for a policeman. And should they actually encounter the physical realm of heaven, they would be greatly upset. The late astronaut Jim Irwin, one of 12 men to actually walk on the moon, said that every individual he had talked with who had been privileged to go into outer space, including the Russian cosmonauts, was profoundly influenced by what he experienced. Today's program will reach into more than a hundred different countries. But no matter where you live, when you go to your local post office, you will find the flag of your country proudly flying in front, right? The seat of government is in your capital, but wherever you find a post office, you will find government representation. That's how I think of heaven. Jesus said, For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. So where you find a few of God's people, you find that the flag has been planted, and God has brought down a bit of heaven to bless our weary old world. Think about it when you pray, Our Father in heaven, let your name be holy. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines for Living. If you'd like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our devotional, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.